This knowledge clip is about Pick a Question. Produced by ENFE is a part of a series of knowledge clips based on the five steps of a research cycle. Today, we are approaching step two, formulate a research question. This quote explains well the topic. Knowledge is having the right answer. Intelligence is asking the right question. And that's exactly why we need PICO, to ask the right question. In summary, what is a PICO question? is a tool that facilitates the search for an answer, as the picture may help you to remember. It's an important part of a well-built clinical question. It's also used to identify the key concepts that need to be in an article, and is also used for quantitative and qualitative studies. Now, let's see what does PICO means. P stands for problem or patient. I stands for intervention or management strategy. C stands for comparative intervention, and O is the outcome. But for an update version, you can also encounter the S, which will say PICOS, and S stands for study type. In this example, could be a randomized control trial. So you can also take in consideration a study type. But now let's check a real example. To gain quality of life in Parkinson's disease patients, does high-intensity training have greater results compared to conservative treatment? So, the person or problem is a Parkinson's disease patient, as the picture shows. Intervention is high-intensity training compared to conservative treatment, and the outcome is gaining quality of life. Let's see another example. Is the goniometer an efficient tool to measure the range of motion of a shoulder complex in comparison to a smartphone application. Again, the problem of a person is the range of motion of shoulder complex. The intervention is the goniometer. It's compared to a smartphone application, and the outcome is the efficiency of a tool. Now, uh, let's test your knowledge. You're gonna have 15 seconds to, to answer, to find the, the P, the problem, and the outcome of this research question. In middle-aged men suffering migraines, which is a headache disorder, is botulinum toxin type A compared to placebo effective at decreasing migraine frequency? So this is your question. Now you have to find the P and the O. Okay, now let's check the answer. The answer is the problem is a person is middle-aged men suffering migraines and the outcome is effectiveness at decreasing migraine frequency. Hope you get it right. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next educational video.